Hi friends! Today we're going to talk about the 20 backlist titles that I want to read in 2020. You may know that I have a history of buying a quadrillion books and then not reading them and having a bookshelf that is a hot fucking mess. Bookshelf tour to come. January 2020. Look out for that. I have about 200 books on my physical unread shelves. That means I physically own and have on a shelf 200 books that I have not read. I wanted to pick out the 20 books that I want to prioritize for this year that I know are books that I am anticipating that have been on my shelf for a little bit that I need to read in order to get to other series by that author that are newer. Just so many things. And I want to preface this by saying if you are interested in any of these titles and you want to do a buddy read, please let me know in the comments section below or find me on Twitter or Instagram. All of that's down below as well. I would love to buddy read some of these with you. So if you have a crap ton of backlist titles that you're trying to get to as well, we can push each other to do so. So let's get into the books. First is Not Now, Not Ever by Lily Anderson. This book follows a girl who has, her parents are divorced and they both want her to be a specific type of person and she kind of runs away and goes to a summer camp where she wants to reinvent herself but it turns out that her cousin who is a goody two-shoes is at this camp and she is trying to try to find out who she is and not have her cousin tell on her and all this whole spiel. I've read two books by Lily Anderson in the past. I really enjoyed both of those so I want to get to this one as well. Next is Black Ice Burning by A.R. Kaler. This is part of the Pale Queen series. This is the third and final book in this series. I read the first two books probably 2014-2015. Never read this one. Why? I don't know. It follows Claire who is a human that was taken in by the Fae world because of something that someone else did. Basically she is the daughter of a very important person to the Fae world and so the queen decides to raise her as her own but she raises her as an assassin. So Claire is an assassin who basically takes out the queen's garbage people that the queen wants to get rid of. The series follows Claire finding out more about her mom and her past, her history, herself, and the world that she's in because the world is kind of dying around her and she is basically trying to save the world even though it's not really her world, it's the world that she grew up in. Next we have A Hero for Wandla by Tony DiRolizzi. I read the first book in this series, probably 2017 and never read book two or book three. This is book two. Follows a human girl named Eva Nine who is basically the only human that she knows. She lives in like this little pod underground and she has a android that takes care of her and she is on a journey to discover more humans like herself. It's a really interesting world. It has amazing artwork. It's not a picture book but it has artwork in the chapter titles. That's just gorgeous. And I really love the story. I believe it's mid-grade. It just was a really fun read and I don't know why I haven't finished on with them. Maybe because they're just so chunky and so I'm terrified. But they're not that long. Next is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This is a retelling of the Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland, which I'm not a fan of. I'm not a huge fan of retellings, but I read the entire Lunar Chronicles and I loved it. So I don't know if it's just the way that Marissa Meyer does it or maybe I have changed in my old age. I'm not really sure. Also by Marissa Meyer, I still need to read Renegades. I know that this series follows um, superheroes, supervillains, and then the point of view is are the superheroes actually the superheroes or is it the other way around? And these are chunky babies too. The third book I believe came out last year. Everybody is in love with these and I haven't picked them up yet and I don't know why because I love Meyer's writing. Then we get to a thriller, If We Were Villains by Emma Rio. I know quite a few booktubers who read thrillers that really enjoyed this book and it basically has one of my favorite plots from thrillers in that it takes place during two timelines and so you're following people from present day kind of reliving the past and something tragic that happened to them as you try to figure out what actually happened and who's responsible for what happened and all of the fallout from that. Next is a 15 book series. I, as many as I can get to. We're going with the Sweep series by Kate Tiernan. I read the first book, Book of Shadows. This is a bind up. There are five bind ups with three in each book. I read the first book. I really enjoyed it and I keep saving them, saving them for October 
spooky reads because they're witchy books, but that I never read them. I need to read them. This was published in 2001. The character is like a junior in high school, I think, and I was a freshman in high school in 2001. So we're around the same age bracket at the same time. So I think this is going to have some nostalgia for me at this point because it's been 20 years. Jesus. I don't know if it's going to hold up well, but I feel like it's going to be nostalgic for me. Next is a Cassie Clare book. It is Ghosts of Shadow Market. Cassie Clare, Robin Wasserman, Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, Kelly Link, all the usual suspects. I've read about half of this. I don't know how far I was in it because I was reading them digitally and then realized that I hadn't finished the entire series yet, Dark Artifices, and so I figured I probably should not read this in case I spoiled myself. So I stopped reading it and now I need to finish it and I haven't yet. Next is Reign of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh. I don't remember what this is about, actually. My best friend's husband was like, this sounds good. And I was like, that does sound good. And then I bought it and then I never read it. So like, I can remember that, but I can't remember what the book's about. So here we are. Next is These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling. This book takes place in a world where magic is a real thing and they live in a world where people know that magic is real. It's her and her ex-girlfriend, her best friend, and a new girl in town and they kind of have to come together to figure out these murders that are happening that are being performed by magic and it's a whole spiel. It sounds like a really fun time. If you haven't noticed at this point in your viewership of my channel, I like witchy books, probably because I'm a witch. I don't know, there could be something to do with it. Next is Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco. This is the fourth and final book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. Came out a couple months ago, haven't read it yet. I'm a horrible person. This series follows a girl named Audrey Rose who just wants to investigate murder, cut up bodies, try to figure out who the killer is. Like she's super cool and it's set in the 1800s. So of course that's highly frowned upon because she's a lady and she has to like, be fragile and gentle and wear skirts and faint at the sight of blood. Hi. But she does not conform and she has a really cute man friend and there's a lot of drama. It goes over some major actual true life crimes like Jack the Ripper and Dracula and a cruise ship killer and uh... I'm trying to remember who this one is, but I can't remember who this one follows. Speaking of books that came out in series that I've been reading and loving but haven't picked up yet, The Tyrant's Tomb, the fourth book in the Trials of Apollo by Rick Riordan. This one came out, I think, in September. Haven't picked it up yet. I pre-ordered it. It's been a weird end of the year, guys. This series follows the god Apollo after the events of the Heroes of Olympus series where he has been cast out of Olympus by Zeus and he is not enjoying his life at all. He is put in the body of a human teenager and he has to fight his way to getting back to Olympus. I'm gonna say this and I don't know how I feel about it. The next book is Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo. This is the first book in the original Grish trilogy. It has been renamed the Shadow and Bone trilogy and I think that's just so it doesn't get confused with the entire Grisha verse but I could be wrong. I have no idea what this book is about. I hear people talk about it all the time. I hear people talk about Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom all the time and about how it's about a group of six questionable moral people who are doing a heist. I have no idea what this is even about. So yeah, I want to read these this year. I'm, basically, I'm really interested in reading Six of Crows and I know that they take place in the same world and I am that person who wholeheartedly believes that even if this isn't exactly what I'm looking for, I don't want to read that and love it and then go into this knowing what happens to the characters in this from reading what takes place after. So I'm a firm believer in reading chronologically regardless of if the first is something that you seem interested in or not just to not spoil yourself on things that happen in the future. Next is The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. This is the third and final book and The Remnant Chronicles. I just finished the second book in December. Must read this very soon. Next is A Madness So Discreet by Mendy McGinnis. I actually picked this up to read it as part of Beautifully Bookish Bethany's book club in November and then never read it. Surprise, surprise. But it sounds really interesting. It's about a girl who is a teenager and is pregnant and so she is sent into a mental institution because that's what you do with girls who misbehave. There's murder going on in the institution and she's going to help 
the guy who runs the institution figure out who the murderer is? Ninth house, Lee Bardugo. I have summarized this before, I think in my haul and was like way wrong about what this book was even about. But I think that's because the world has been way wrong about what this book is about. It follows a girl who gets involved in these secret societies at a university. Basically I've been told that there is a lot of privileged men doing shitty things to people who are less privileged than they are. That's what I got. I still, some people have really loved this, some people have not loved it because they didn't think it lived up to the original hype. I'm very interested to read it just because it seems like something outside of what I would normally read. So for that reason I'm excited to read it and also, you know, Leigh Bardugo. She's on my list of 10 authors I need to read and I haven't read yet. Spoiler alert, that video is coming up at some point. I don't know when. Next is The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. This is a retelling of King Arthur and the Round Table, which King Arthur is one thing that I super love. Basically the premise that I have heard is that Merlin did something to set Guinevere up as a protector for Arthur and she is a fae and so she's a changeling that was switched out for a human girl and married to Arthur so that she could protect him. And I have really loved some of Kirsten White's works and I have DNF'd some of Kirsten White's works. So not sure how this is gonna go, but it looks pretty short and I wanna get to it. Next is The Bromance Book Club by Lissa K. Adams. I heard about this from Chelsea Dolling Reads, who loved it and basically said that it's a book about guys on a football team who read romance books to help them understand their wives better and that just sounds like a really fun adult contemporary that I can 100% get behind. And then next is Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. I actually got this as a prize from Julie at Pages and Pens for her 13 days of giveaways, 12 days of giveaways, however many days of giveaways she had. This book follows Chloe who is kind of a computer nerd and doesn't really like to go outside of her comfort zone and she lives her life chronically ill and she has a near-death experience and that makes her decide to push outside of her comfort zone and make a list of things that are to help her get a life and she enlists the help of her really attractive handyman at her apartment complex and uh, he's tattooed, he's got a motorcycle, he's artistic, like what girl doesn't want that? I'm just saying. Really excited for this one. Thank you again, Julie. I'm so super happy to have won and I cannot wait to read this. And the final book on this list is In a Mirror by Emily Bourne. Emily is a fellow author tuber and a friend of mine and I am going to be buddy reading this with Brianna this month. Brianna, Rainy Days, Stormy Nights, she'll be linked down below. I bought this for her for Christmas so that we could buddy read it together because I'm awesome like that. I'm forcing my friends books on my friends. Like how awesome am I? Also speaking of friends, you're my friends and if you haven't bought this book yet you should definitely check into it. It's about twin sisters who are kind of on opposite sides of the spectrum. One's kind of preppy and happy and the other is a little darker and a little more punkish and uh, follows their story and it's uh, I think highly character driven. I haven't read it yet so I don't know but yes this and if that doesn't sound like your thing if you like things with more magic then you should check out my friend Becca's book Riser. It's right there. It sits behind me in all of my videos and it involves a girl who can raise the dead. So check that out if you have it because I have friends and they write books and they're cool and I'm just here to make my other friends read my friends books. So those are the 20 backlist titles that I want to get to very soon, hopefully in the first few months. <laughs> I'm just gonna read 20 books in January and February along with all of the other books that I have to read. You know, what? I hope I get to all of these this year. Obviously I want to read a lot of books. I have a lot to read. It's the fourth I haven't opened a book yet. Like I said, if you are interested in reading any of these and you would like to read them with me, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to buddy read with some of you just so that we can all enjoy books and push each other to finish them because I need to finish some books. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos Mondays, Wednesdays, bonus videos on the weekends. January I'm posting the 1st through the 13th and then back to the regular schedule once all of these end of year beginning of year videos are done. So if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future make sure you subscribe and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!